All right, it is Army of Angels. So I am back in Georgia. We are now looking for a new office and we have 23 parents who have signed up to go on our healing retreat. So we've closed the list for the healing retreat and we will have the signups on our website for um, the families who did sign up to sign up for the grief recovery program, which is a requirement before going to the healing retreat. So for me, I spent some time in Jamaica and I have found so much peace in in just finding myself in nature and being able to swim and dance and laugh and you know just have fun and and be who it is that I am and the the community that I found in Jamaica is completely different than anything I've seen here in the United States and to see a community of people who have pretty much nothing and find so much joy in their life and so much togetherness and so much time that they have willing to help each other and invest in their community and all the children. It's just, I was overwhelmed, overwhelmed with peace, overwhelmed with joy, overwhelmed with love. And I want to bring that to the families that we will be taking on the healing retreat in July of 2022. And I will also be going on a few more healing retreats on my own to continue to work on my healing progress. So uh, next month, I will be in Arizona at um, Baldus Beautiful Healing Retreat. So there'll be other cancer families and other cancer parents who have also suffered a loss of a child. So I'm going to go there to find some support as well. And then from there, I'll be attending um, a gala here in Georgia. So a lot of things are happening and we are getting our new office open so that the families can come back to the office and receive services like support services and activities that keep us close and, and resources that help these families through treatment. So it's been a crazy long journey for me. And I think that I found a lot of peace and happiness and I'm able to take steps forward in my life that I've been so far hindered in being able to do so. So I absolutely love Jamaica and I cannot wait to share that with other families and other parents. And then we will be having Aiden's birthday. So this year Aiden would have been turning seven and you know each year I go to a hospital and we celebrate Aiden's birthday at the hospital. But with all this craziness that has gone on with COVID and the craziness in my life, it's it was very hard for me to want to plan something else. So, you know, I've I struggled a lot with what I'm going to do this year for Aiden's birthday and if I was going to have a party or if I would go visit his wall. And I kind of decided that this year I'm going to just spend it on my own. I'm going to spend his birthday by myself and I'm going to do things that remember Aiden because since I've lost him, those are things I haven't been able to do. And I want to have peace and I want to have happiness and I want to have new chapters in my life where I can create a new, a new, a new way of living through grief. And I believe that, you know, by spending a little bit more time by myself, and in nature and with God that I will find that peace. So for Aiden's birthday, I'm going to partner with another angel mom and we are gonna celebrate both of our children together in the city of New York. So we're still going to make the Amazon wish list. I'll post it with this video and you guys can purchase items off the Amazon wish list, which will ship directly to New York where we will in September bring awareness through Aiden and Nova Lee and we will also bless the hospital and all the children there that are still fighting with toys and gifts and as much as we can. So we're still waiting to see if we can bring any food into the hospital to bring, you know, a, a big party. And hopefully they'll get back to us soon and then we'll be able to know how big we can go. And our second plan is if we're not able to throw the party in the hospital, we're still able to donate the toys. So that's already done. But we will throw a party in the park in New York where the community can come out and support childhood cancer families and celebrate Aiden and Nova Lee. So Nova Lee will be six years old and Aiden would be seven. 
So naturally in heaven, I'm sure they're celebrating together anyways. So I'm so excited to partner with Chastity and go out to New York and spend some time there spoiling the family's Aiden style. So if you guys would like to participate, I'm going to put the Amazon wish list in my bio on Instagram. And then I also will put it in the post on this video and you guys can make your donations or you can buy gifts off the Amazon wish list if you are in New York. Please go to our website if you want to volunteer and fill out a volunteer form at www.adensarmyevangels.org. And we'll only probably take a few volunteers, but we would love to bring uh, people who have supported the foundation from New York in to actually see how we touch the families and interact with the families. So I am so excited about all the new things that are coming this year and all the new possibilities for Aiden's Army of Angels now that we are in five states. So there's lots of Aiden love to be spread around. And then we're also working on some things in Chicago. So there's a family in Chicago who has a little girl who we um, were fundraising for to help with the light bill. So this little girl is going through a lot right now and her mom needs our support. So we are working on getting to Chicago to bless this family and make sure that they have the resources they need so they're focused on their daughter and their fight and not their finances and survival. So Aiden's Army of Angels, we are bigger and stronger than we've ever been, and we continue to grow with only your support. So continue to follow and support childhood cancer families and sickle cell families as we start spreading our love all around Georgia.